All right, today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the backup camera in a first generation Toyota Venza. This is the factory backup camera, so it's not an externally mounted license plate frame type. Uh, it's built into the vehicle, but yeah, if you have a Venza, you'll recognize, kind of recognize it right now. Uh, anyway. It's really not that difficult to take apart, don't be intimidated. But anyway, tail it's gotta come out. And all these holes you see, almost every single one of those is just a plastic clip, and I will show you those in just a moment. But yeah, that red plastic trim piece, that's where the uh, button to lock and unlock the vehicle and open the hatches, that's where the backup camera goes. And let's see, there was one that was a screw, I think it was right here. To get to this one on the other side, you'll see in a second. Anyway, that's that. Um, make sure you put something that prevents your trunk from actually latching, just in case, because you actually have the controls removed. And granted, we have other ways to open the trunks on these vehicles, like such as our remote, um, but I wouldn't trust that with uh, something disconnected like this you never know fuse could have popped or something like that and that may not work which would then require you climbing into the back of the car and figuring out how to open this uh, anyway on with the video so like I said the tail light the inner tail light part has to come out it's two 10 millimeter uh, socket and you'll just remove the two nuts there same on this side, two nuts here, and after that, I'm going to show you what this actually looks like. So, oh yeah, don't forget to unplug the tail light assembly, the inner tail light assemblies, and I'm going to clean these all up when I'm done with this. I'm going to clean up that entire surface on the back of the vehicle as well. Um, but yeah, so that's the two tail lights. Kind of wiggle them out after don't yank on them gently wiggle them until these release okay uh as far as the inner part goes the inner part is every single piece is all held on by these pressure clips there we go right there so that's what they look like and this piece here is This piece right here. So this piece actually sits here, connects to that one. That one doesn't have to come off, by the way. That one right there with the third strut through it. And there's little clips that clip onto each of the plastic pieces on each side. So you just kind of, this one comes off first, and you just kind of stick your hands behind it, pull it up a little bit, and wiggle it. And just gently yank every few inches or so, and eventually this will come off. Next piece you want to pull off, is the big piece, same thing. Get your fingers around it, around the edges of it, and gently yank every few inches. You will feel and hear these pop out. They may, some of them may break, some of them may be missing already, like this one here on my car, which kind of annoys me because I didn't lose it. Um, but yeah, some of them may break, but don't worry about that, it's not a huge deal. As long as the majority of them are there, you'll be okay. Or you can go to your dealership and you can purchase these, they're relatively cheap. Um, so once that's off, your next step, you are going to remove four of these shiny 10 millimeter nuts. You will see them. Okay, remember this is the hole for the camera. There's going to be a nut here, a nut here, a nut here, and a nut here. You're going to remove those. Make sure you unplug everything. Next, you will... Remove this bolt and this bolt. Now be careful, this is your wash, uh, washer arm motor right here. And uh, so this one here, you're just gonna loosen and you're gonna unplug this. Because up in here, I don't know if you can see, yeah, see that little hole with the sun shining through there? Uh, there's actually a nut there too. Thanks Toyota. So yeah, you gotta remove these two, loosen this, 
and swing this so that you can get a tool in there to remove that nut. Once you do that, come down here, have a buddy hold the trunk closed or something, and you're gonna start with a tool prying around the edges, releasing the bottom row of clips. Just come all the way around, release those clips. Then you can actually get your fingers behind it right here, and you can start pull, gently yanking out across the top here. And that thing, the clips will release, bolts will slide out, and believe it or not, as you'll see here, the button and the camera are actually attached to this plastic piece. But as you can see, everything came out in this one, all the clips. Took me a couple minutes to figure out how to do it, but then I noticed, you know, I searched uh, YouTube to try to find a video on how to do this, but since there wasn't one, I made one for you guys. Anyway, my backup camera, this is actually, this is how it's supposed to be. Okay, I took it apart, but this, this is what you'll see. That'll be bolted to the back of that red plastic trim. Um, couple little screws on the back of this don't take them out like I did it's pointless you can do what you need to do with the bracket on this because you can't open this up to take it up to clean or anything I mean I think you can but I'm not going to attempt that but anyway the reason I did I don't know if you can see it yeah you can see it look at all the condensation in there that's because for the past week we've had heavier rains than we've had in years almost every single day so I got to Get a new one of these and replace it. I thought I'd be able to dry it out, but it doesn't look that way. And besides, if it does this when it rains, I'd rather have a weather tight one. Obviously, the weather tight, the IP68 of this wore out. The weatherproofing. Um, I don't even know if this was IP68, but yeah. So you got the camera out. Now you have two options. You can go to Toyota and pay an outrageous price for a factory matching one. It comes with a new bracket. Um, so you don't even have to do this. You don't have to take it out and swap it in a new bracket. It comes with it. But they want, from what I saw, 750 bucks for one of them things. So to me, that's insane. Uh, but yeah, that's how you remove it. Reinstallation, reverse of removal, obviously.